have. Okay, so I know it was your birthday Saturday, uh -huh. so I'm a complete nerd, and I don't know if you'll like it, but it's, I got you a bow and arrow that shoots marshmallows. <laughs> I mean, you Do just pull I like it, it. Pull it. And just, you can shoot I just, I just pull, pull it. Yeah. Just pull it? Uh-huh. And then, and then, oh wait, one more. One more try. Look at that. <laughs> What is this called? Like it's I, a marshmallow I, bow and an arrow. Yeah. I yeah. love this. Isn't that cool? Wonderful. So you shoot and somebody can eat it. Yeah. That's a wonderful yeah. gift. Thank you so no, much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, um, this is is this your first acting job? This uh, job you have now or no? No. No. That was Bar I was on Barney when I was seven. You were on Barney when you were seven? Yes. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> And where, where are you from? You're from a small town, right? Yes, I'm from Grand Prairie, Texas. And how many people are there? Uh, that's not that, I mean, I guess it's pretty normal. I mean, not too little, but not yeah. too big. And, and so how do you get Barney from living in a, in a town in Texas? That's pretty much all that's there in Texas is Barney's and a lot of commercials. So. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got. And I, when I was seven years old, I asked my mom if I could be an actress. And we stood in line with 1,400 kids and got 1,400 kids. And then how do you get this one? Um, well, when I was 12 years old, Disney Channel had a nationwide casting search, and uh -huh. we could never really afford to fly out to California, so it was kind of cool. I sent in tapes, and they, you know, they guess they liked me, and I flew out for the first time, and I've done three pilots and three shows for them all together, and this is the show that got picked up. So you kind of were on a holding deal then? They kind of just kept holding you until they found the right thing? Kind of. So then they kind of, you know, kept me occupied and put me on Sweet Life and Hannah Montana, uh -huh. so. And, and you love acting? You love doing that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I mean, and what do you want to, I mean, do you want to do films and stuff like that, probably? Yes, definitely. Yeah. I just did my first movie, actually. Oh, so. you did? Mm -hmm. Good for you. Yes. Did you do commercials and stuff like that? Yeah, I've done a lot of commercials. I did the whole, you know, Chili's and Friday's commercial where I smile on the camera as I eat a shrimp, you know, totally yeah. unrealistic stuff, but... I and did you know. spit it out every time, or did you swallow? I was, they, they made me, but I, I ate it half the time, because oh, really? I, I like food, so it was free yeah. food. I took advantage <laughs> of it. And so you live here now. Yes. Is it totally different than Texas? Do you miss Texas? I miss Texas a lot. Yeah. I miss everyone in Texas. It's definitely been a culture shock. And I bet. It's been fun. But I bet. And what do you miss the most? I used to live in Texas, too, as yes. you know. What do you miss the most about it? Um, I miss, OK, I miss the pickles at the movie theaters. It, it, it sounds so random, because they don't have it in California. They don't have pickles here? No, in every movie theater in Texas, everywhere you go, they have pickles at their movie yeah. theaters. The big dill pickles, and they pop yeah. it in and give it to you. And I remember I went to the movie theaters here for the first time, and I said, could I have a pickle? And it was like a surfer dude guy, and he goes, what? And I go, can I have a pickle? And he goes, dude, she's asking for pickles. What's, no, we don't sell pickles. And he was like, freaked out that I asked for pickles, Didn't and that's, yeah. Do people know what we're talking about? Because I remember pickles at, yeah, yes. you're supposed to have pickles at a movie theater. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with a pickle no. at a movie theater. And they look at me like I'm crazy. That's so crazy. I sneak my own in there. So. And they, you can make a fortune because pickles are cheap and you, mm -hmm. you know, you're charging for a pickle. I don't know why they don't start selling pickles. They should. I, I'll start a petition. Yeah, so. they should. Yes. They should sell pickles. And I'm not going to say pickle one more time. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Um, all right, so you gave me a gift for my birthday, uh, and I'm going to give you a gift because I hear you're a huge tennis shoe fan, as yeah. I am. And so I'm going to give you some of my Converse tennis shoes, <gasps> and what I'll do oh. is I will draw a pickle on, on them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That... Yeah, they have little... Now you know Dots, that. Dots, yeah. yeah. That's, okay. There's my pickle. There are your pickles. Yay! You have two. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Look how beautiful yes, you are. You. This thank is you, incredible. Sir. Selena, you haven't been here. First of all, I promise I'm not going to scare you. I know that Ellen does that That's to you. That's quite all right. And I, and I, because trust me, I hate it too. And there's yes. like, let's show some pictures of oh, how of tortured you are by Ellen. <laughs> and, oh my gosh. Yeah. See, all look right. at, it's just cruel, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen, it's cruel. I well, won't do that to you. This is, uh, this is exciting. I know. Oh, first off, are you guys kidding me? Rachel was my life. Like, <laughs> I mean, the 
This is incredible. You're but so you know what, though? You know what makes me so happy is that I would watch it on Channel 33 um, at 10.30 every night on Thursday with my mom. Yes. And I cried when the whole season was over. But what made me so happy is, like, now, now, like, people my age and everyone else is just obsessed. And it just makes me so happy, oh. like, for you and for the show because I it's iconic. No, oh, God, I love you. Melina, <laughs> you're so... You've always been so sweet. You are you're, you really are a genuine fan, and it's yeah. amazing. And we we've met, we've known each other for years. Yeah. You've been to my house. We've had pizza. Girl after my own part, heart. Do we love a pizza or yeah. what? We love yes, a pizza. We do. It's so it's so so much fun. Now, someone did. I, I was told that you recall us meeting for the first time in a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yes. I would you remind me of because, where? Well, nobody knew who I was, okay. and you were in the bathroom wearing a black dress. Okay. And I Weird. think we were at like a Vanity Fair something event and I was there with my mom and I walked into the bathroom and I saw you and you were just like so nice. You just like walked out to the bathroom and you were going back and my heart like stopped and I freaked out and I ran to my mom and I was like, oh my God, I just saw Jennifer Aniston. I was like, oh my God. Did I say hello? Did we say no, hello? Do we have a pleasantry? Busy. You were you, uh, you Washing were, my hands, I hope. Yeah. No, you were, you were fine. You were, you were everything that I, that I wanted. Bless your heart. <laughs> now, you have a, a CD that, that's come out. Yes. This is, a, it debuted at number one. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. It's incredible, and you're getting you're, you're you're getting the greatest reviews of your career. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's exciting, to, isn't it? To How does work that... on something for so long. It's been four to five years since I had released any of my own personal music. So yeah, I was very nervous. You just you don't really know what's going to happen, and to get the reviews that I've gotten has um, validated the fact that I do know I'm a real artist and that yes. I work my. Sorry, uh, I work really hard. You can really say hard. ass on this. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, you can't. No, Sorry, you can't. that's me. I keep forgetting. Okay, but Late I worked night. really, I worked. Oh, we can say ass. Okay, well, I worked my ass off. Yes, for girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I mean, I have to say, you know, Lose You to Love Me, that's a very revealing song. And it is nerve wracking when you are putting your honest, your heart out there. Yeah. Um, and yet it always seems to pay off because that's what people really respond to is your authenticity, your beauty, and your honesty. Well, I appreciate that. And yeah. I think that was the, the whole point. You know, as I was younger, I, or when I was younger, I felt like it was um, a weakness mm. to be vulnerable and to share my heart with people. Mm -mm. And I, I realized that everybody else seemed to be narrating my life for me. Yes. So why don't I put something out that is my side of the story. It's not hateful or anything. It's simply a beautiful moment to, to let go of. And yeah. I was really, really proud of it. Oh my gosh, congratulations. That must just feel incredible.